now we are discussing about economics in that economics we are discussing about neoclassical economics what is meaning of neoclassical economics neoclassical economics is a broad theory that focuses on supply and demand as the driving forces behind the production pricing and consumption of goods and services it emerged in around 900 to compete with the earlier theories of classical economics examples of neoclassical economics for example you desire to purchase designer apparel because of the attached brand level besides the clothing production cost may be insignificant here the perceived value of the brand level brand level exceed its input cost creating an economic surplus what are the four assumptions of neoclassical economics four fundamental assumptions of neoclassical economics often contribute to environmental degradation number one is our resources infinite or substitutable and second one is uh, should we discount the future and third one is are all cost all cost and uh, benefits internal and then the next point is uh, core neoclassical characteristics we can pick out uh, four features four features of neoclassical methodology methodological individualism rationality equilibrium and the importance of the price mechanism and then the next point is uh, why is economical neoclassical economics uh, important neoclassical economics is primarily concerned with efficient uh, allocation of uh, limited product resources it also considers the growth of the resources in the long term the growth of all growth of growth the growth will allow for expanding the production of goods and services and the next point is what is the difference between keynesian and neoclassical economics keynesian keynesians believe physical and monetary policy should be used actively in the short term run to manage aggregate demand neoclassical believe that the economy is self correcting and attempting to fine tune the economy through monetary and physical policies makes problems worse then the next point is who is the founder of neoclassical economics alfred marshall was an english economist and uh, that is in the year uh, 1842 to 1924 and the true founder of the neoclassical school of economics which combined the study of uh, wealth distribution of the classical school with the marginalism of the austrian school and the lusani school and what are the next point is uh, what are the neo advantages of neoclassical theory one of the greatest and great advantages of the neoclassical or marginalist theory of distribution is that it great it treats wages interests and uh, interest and land rents in the same way unlike the other theories that gave diverging explanations profits however don't fit so smoothly into the neoclassical system why is it called neoclassical classical classism the period of uh, next point is why is the why is it called neoclassism the the period is called neoclassical because it's uh, writers looked back to the ideas ideals and art forms of classical times emphasizing even more than their renaissance predecessors the classical ideals of order and rational control then the next point is defining characteristics of neoclassicism symmetry unemotional telling of events simplicity of line form and color balancing of uh, straight lines and uh, geometric shapes use of science uh, maths and uh, natural law non fantastical view of the surrounding world and events this is the information regarding neoclassical economics all these giving uh, we are giving the information is to give a good thought in the people and the students and the professionals also to have a correct idea and to have the 
background of economics and all these will give a good thoughts to you. Your thoughts will give for the for time being a good prosperity to the nation and to your family also. Wishing you all the best.